All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, Luke Sager here from Pet Miller. I uh, just got back from Road America. We had an amazing weekend. Um, just an incredible track, incredible venue. Uh, we ran really, really well all weekend, but unfortunately, um, a late race penalty took us from first to third. Um, so today, what I wanna do is just uh, nerd out with all of you really quick and explain kind of what happened, because uh, I know a lot of people out there want, want to understand uh, what what happened. So first of all, um, what IMSA does is they have a minimum full refueling time. That is set so uh, people do not, you know, aren't able to fill their, their car faster than uh, anyone on the track. Um, but what you typically run into is you are not doing a full fill of your car. So you have to determine um, what the, the appropriate fill time is for less than less than a full tank. So I'm gonna go through some very nerdy math stuff here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have a young kid uh, aspiring to be a engineer or, or want some inspiration for some STEM material, uh, check this out, it's kind of fun. So, uh, so some of the basics. So we have a min fill time of 40 seconds. And then IMSA also provides a equation um, in the rule book, uh, which you can get online too, that, that basically is used to find the fill time during um, non -fill, not full fill stops. So that is, the equation is, you have min full fill equals your BOP capacity uh, times the time. And that's all over uh, the flow, uh, volume, uh, volume of the fill, right? So we know the 40 seconds of fill time. We also know the BOP capacity. So from that, we can actually find a fill rate um, that needs to be hit. So that's gonna be uh, fill rate is going to equal the BOP uh, capacity over the t over um, the time. Our BOP passive capacity is 87 liters. We have 40 seconds, and that's going to equal 1.17, 2.175 liters per second. Okay, so now with that, you think you can figure out uh, what your what your fill rate needs to be when your your fill is not full. Um, so basically, this is the number you kind of have to rely on. So so IMSA has a sensor on the fuel rig that measures um, the full rate and the the fill rate, and they want your fill rate to be less than that. So they look how much gas went in, how much time it, it took to to fill it, and it has to be less than that or you'll be penalized. So um, so from this, you can direct, see a quick chart where we have gallons and we have time. Sorry, not gallons, liters. Sorry, liters. And we have this, this would be 40 seconds, and then this would be uh, 87 liters, and then the slope of this would be 2.5. 175, right? So anywhere when you need less than 87 gallons, you kind of go up here, go here, and go here, right? Well, this is where things got a little sticky. So this would be true if this flow rate is constant for the entire um, uh, the, the entire unloading of, of the uh, fuel rig. But what we have determined is that the fuel rig if I look at flow rate versus gallons in the tank, uh, this is making an assumption, it's this at 2.175. But in reality, what we find is there's actually some nonlinearity in the flow of that tank right at the end, and it, and it dips down like that. So if you are not filling a full tank, and you are somewhere in this range, you are actually flowing the fuel faster at two, than 2.175. So what that does to this chart 
is it would look something like that. So if you're filling in here, you're actually faster than 2.175. So lesson learned, we didn't do a full fill. We were somewhere in this area. Uh, we were less than a second uh, off on, on overfilling uh, or on our, on our fill rate. So unfortunately we got the penalty. Um, you know, it's, it's a shame, but you know, we are always pushing to the edge of everything to gain every, every performance advantage we have. And sometimes you miss it by a bit. Uh, we're super disappointed that we got it. We're super disappointed we let you guys down. Um, but great lesson learned for us. Great opportunity uh, for us to get better and win more races in the future. So thanks guys. I hope you found that helpful. Um, have a great day.